So, our next reader is Pam Galloway. Where are you, Pam? I have no idea. Oh, there she is. Pam Galloway. Pam holds an MFA in creative writing and has taught poetry courses at Langara College. Her publications include Parallel Lines, Quintet, Themes and Variations, and Poetry, and her non-fiction articles have aired on CBC Radio, and Health and Science articles have appeared in the Vancouver Sun, Georgia Strait, CNS News, and the Medical, Educa and the Medical, Medical Education Network. Her poem, Genesis, appeared on the website of the Poet Laureate of Canada, 2006. Mm. She is amazing, and she is going to blow your mind. So if you want to keep your mind, put it in your pocket. <laughs> Please give it up for the amazing Pam Galloway, everybody! Right. Oh. <laughs> I'm small. I'm one of those little people. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much to the Fed for inviting me this afternoon. Um, people have been talking about their connections with the Fed, so I've been a member for a long time, and I've taken advantage of things like off the page and, and gone into the schools, and I've contributed to a, one of the anthologies. So I would also endorse that message to join the Fed if you're not a member already. It's a wonderful organization for writers. Um, right across BC. Uh, New Westminster, it's great to be back in New Westminster. Listening to Calvin reminded me, um, guess where I started writing? Cool. Douglas College. <laughs> yes. So I thought I would begin um, also by reading a poem by someone else. I can't think which poet it was recently that, and that said to us, spread the word about poetry, and when you do a reading, don't just read your own, read somebody else's. So in that vein, um, I'm going to start reading a poem by uh, one of my favorite writers writing at the moment, um, the UK Poet Laureate, Caroline Duffy, and her poem called Valentine. Not a red rose or a satin heart. I give you an onion. It is a moon wrapped in brown paper. It promises light like the careful undressing of love. Here, it will blind you with tears like a lover. It will make your reflection a wobbling photo of grief. I'm trying to be truthful. Not a cute card or a kissogram. I give you an onion. Its fierce kiss will stay on your lips, possessive and faithful as we are, for as long as we are. Take it. Its platinum loops shrink to a wedding ring, if you like. Lethal. Its scent will cling to your fingers, cling to your knife. Wow. Uh, with a poem from uh, my book, Parallel Lines. This is a little one. Nitobi Water Lily. In this garden of undulations, I want to smooth the curve of lawn, the way I move my hand over the rise of your hip and listen to trees, breathe reflections into the pond to surface like shot silk. At the silent end of a long summer day, I wish to wax high on the arch of this bridge, let night come down on my pale body, a float, a water lily opened under a naked moon. that I'm slowly compiling <laughs> at the moment. Um, I, I didn't notice what time I started. I'll try and... I did. Did you notice? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Or just yell at me if I'm going on too long. I've timed it, so I think I'm okay, but just, 
don't know how much I'm going to winter. Um, the manuscript I'm putting together at the moment has themes revolving around different sorts of love along our journey. Um, marriage and divorce. Pregnancy, expectation, loss, birth, children, lovers. Its working title is Passing Strangers, so I'm going to read a few poems from that manuscript. Um, here is Circles Turning. Inside the alder wood, I turn and turn, follow the line of trees evenly spaced, realize I'm encircled. I stop to remember a summer past and another encircling of Neolithic stones. How I centered myself then and turned inside the space marked by these massive boulders, time solidified in those rocks and shaped over centuries by wind and rain and hands that stroked prayers, arms that hugged their unyielding forms, bodies that leaned into them pressing questions. And beyond the stone circle and the edges of the field, the mountains were stenciled against a turbid sky, and they surrounded the rocks as the rocks surrounded me. I looked to the rise and stoop of their stark backs and chanted their names. Blencathra, Skidor, Catbells, Cosy Pike, Helvellyn, Stybarrow Dodd, Entreating their gods for circles within circles to protect, to hold living landscapes without and within. Hand on my belly, I felt the ticklish delight, the tumble of wings that opened and turned inside me, rhythms of breath and heartbeat going down to the beginning of time. And the birth. My daughter and I are born together, my body in hers, her voice in mine. I close my eyes to the waiting crowd, close my ears to the nurse's words, seal your lips, direct your energy down. I go with my daughter, who is rising, pushing her way up, I feel her, see her, scream with her as we break from darkness beneath the earth. We emerge under tall trees, the tops ring a brilliant sky. We saw mother and daughter, we strip the stars. Whoa.